Our childhood around street poles on the bottom of Springfield Ave, watching our breath disappear in midair, taking out our vicious cycle on brown faces and brutal tears and painkillers or automatic weapons, too afraid to murder who we've become, sacrificing our kindness, tenderness, and mother hugs for demons hanging from our collars, shattering our most secret moments, pledging to kill us all before we can get out of here, forcing us to blend in with mediocrity and the creative shame of hip-hop songs that predict and eulogize our last dance before all the lights come on in the club, pleading with ourselves to listen to that voice within to appreciate the days when we stood up, when our screams caused the ground beneath our chains to tremble. Our wisdom has betrayed us, turned into drive-bys and pistol whippings. A half century after Emmett Till's crushed body was dragged out of the Tallahatchie River, leaning in front of corner stores, begging for that demon to spare our lives. We beat our girlfriends as therapy and watch our sons beat theirs as proof of our manhood until someone dies. Freedom of death has been perverted to freedom is death, paying homage to slow rides and silent ambulances as funeral parlors move into bigger spaces, making room for ball players and murder and rappers. Disgrace our beauty with all this ugly greed of I don't need nobody, I don't need nobody, I can die by myself in this quiet asylum of dishonor with my back to the bars, ignoring the old folks that have prayed and those that have paid the ultimate price for us to commit to suicide, hanging our village out to dry, vowing to find the plantation by any means necessary, vowing to find the plantation by any means necessary, addicted to TV commercials and SpongeBob, preparing our children to be victimized, our bodies become a shell, our spirits suck dry, our minds beaten to a pulp. The train stations are crowded these days with baggage and desperate attempts to get a free ride home. When are we going to stop walking by? When are we going to stop walking by and grab that boy running with no end in sight? Chasing himself around that pole looking for his father in broken crack vials and police sirens. When are we going to stop hating our own children and snatch the failure from their eyes and the image of them on their knees trying to be like the men who gave us life but at the same time handing over the poison that's killing us. Leaving us in a system of no compassion and market values holding our heads down with our hands over our hearts suppressing our love for one another while we salute the flag as we lose our loved ones to sick acts of violence. Reruns of pretty girls in dirty ripped stockings with too much makeup on trying to hide the scars of a deadly relationship getting worse sold to us as the safest way out of here on a broken wing and half a prayer. What is the last thing she thought of? When she saw it all come down, the worst sentence, the most horrifying thought in her friend's conversation as the curtains closed on the script, as it all came to life before her very eyes acted out but very real. As she laid there and watched her friend breathe her last words, what did they exchange or think together as they lay there waiting to be saved by the very men that set the stage for this cold evening play? We are humiliated by our compliance, our inability to make it all stop, to at least write a poem to hold a protest, to march, to have a forum, to bring our families together, to go outside and surround our children, yes, all of them, from the artificial lights of the street and show them the sun, the sun, the real sun, and the truth that there is no way out. There is no way out. Only our will to stand up and to change it.